morning everybody it's Thursday today's a bit of a different kind of day we're parking this girl for a while she's got to go see the shop her engine is not running healthy at all and it's been getting worse and worse and yesterday it was giving me some big problems today it's giving me big problems and the engine light came on now as well so I've moved all of my stuff out of this truck and we've moved into the truck we were originally assigned 2025 so for the foreseeable future this is gonna be the truck I'm in so if you see me running around the perimeter on Winnipeg I've got black fenders and a black hood stretched wheelbase that'll be me Bumper's in a little bit of rough shape, but in general, the rest of the truck is in better shape, actually. It's got no rust around the windshield there. It's got the old school round bullet lights, uh, bullet marker lights up on top. It doesn't have as much storage. It has one storage bin like this for me on the other side, underneath the driver, uh, the passenger side for straps and equipment and stuff. And this one on the back here that's bolted down. I already got my broom up here. Got all my chains. My straps are all in here. We've moved in. And now it matches my pickup, right? The whole black theme. It's my pickups right over there, right? The blacked out. I love uh, blacked out vehicles. Any vehicle I get is usually a Chevy black emblem, blacked out. My, my uh, Weiss or our, our terrain is also black but that has chrome rims on it you get it you get it i like black vehicles so this here is what i'm gonna be looking at from now on and you know what i like it i gotta put away all my stuff i just moved in it's amazing even uh just for being a day cab driver there's a lot of stuff i carry with me every day <laughs> Yeah, my water bottle, my lunch, my uh, clipboard, uh, other stuff for the vlog. This is my charger, uh, my inverter, converter. I just carry one along with me. This plugs into the cigarette lighter, turns it into uh, uh, DC outlets here, or whatever you want to call it. So that, uh, I think I got that wrong. But uh, I can charge my cameras and stuff on it. Got my cross for the windshield there. Got uh, my bag, phone obviously, got my phone mount. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my mount in here. But this was the truck they were originally gonna put me in to begin with. So I don't have any GoPro mount set up anywhere in here yet. So we'll see what we come up with today. But this thing has a lot of gauges. Old school, old school, I love it. And uh, this truck has had the engine redone from what I've heard. Uh, I'd have to double check that with the shop, but from what I've heard around the yard, this truck's got a very healthy engine. It's just been redone recently, and it's not going to give me any problems. That truck over there, the old one, uh, is the only day cab that we have like this that hasn't been redone yet from what I've heard. So that engine needs to go and get some attention from the good old doctors in the shop. Maybe get a rebuild, maybe get, uh, I don't know, I'll let the mechanics take care of that. I'm, I'm a driver, I'm not a mechanic. So now you know, this is our new home. Uh, we'll go over the differences in here uh, in a little bit, but uh, we do have dome lights that work. How do I turn them on again though? Oh, uh, here we go. I... Aha, dome lights. We didn't have that in the old truck when I opened the door. Oh, look at that. The old truck didn't have that. That one's burnt out. I think I gotta fix that. <laughs> Radio is way up here. Uh, it's a little bit of a different setup, but much the same. Uh, no door cubby here though. See, it's just a plain door. No door cubby here. That's where I always kept my gloves. So, if you want something for that. Let me get organized in here and uh, we'll get started on our day soon. We're supposed to be getting uh, a load here in the next few minutes that we have to deliver possibly. Let me get settled in a bit here. So, what do we got under the hood, Trucker Josh, you may ask? Well, first of all, you'll see that we got these fun little lights there. They work. That's fun, right? The other truck didn't have those. Same thing, the washer fluid is on the passenger side for some reason, and I'm gonna have to fill that up. This, by the looks of it, this is the first time I'm seeing this engine. As I opened the hood, 
Looks like it's a cat motor. Looks like it's a new alternator. Let's see if I can find some specs for you around here. I don't know what year this truck is yet either. So, let's see if it says it here anywhere. Ah, there it says, it's a C15 cat. Oh, it doesn't say the year. I'm not seeing it, I'm not seeing it. C15 cat, anyways. Ah, right here it says uh, model number is 379. What year is it though? I'll have to figure that out for you. I'm not sure what year this truck is. It's definitely older than the other one. The other one was a 2007. And like I said, we got this where I've got my four inch straps and a couple of two inch straps and ratchets in that there. This is my other storage cubby. It's got a little less storage than the other truck. And I've got my OD equipment in here, some corners. We need this. Ah, get that out of there. Washer fluid, lube and stuff. 45, sort of like WD-40, same idea. And dry graphite lubricant, yeah, lubricants and stuff. Corner protectors. Remember those, uh, those green rental trailers I picked up? Well, we're bringing them back. So my job today is to bring back two of these. I've got to make sure that uh, none of our equipment is left on here. That only the equipment that belongs to the trailer is left in here. I'm gonna go over to the tent over there and uh, sort that all out. I'm gonna take this truck on its first maiden voyage with us. All right. Everybody be nice to her. It's not easy being the new guy. I'm really gonna miss the back window. I don't have a back window anymore. But other than that, I mean, the tanks are set back instead of under the doors. She runs quieter, she's not as loud. Doesn't have as much rust around the window, but she's got her, you know, she's still an old girl. And we're sticking with my regular black theme, just like my, like I told you before, like for personal vehicles. Hey, and uh, one thing we can say, we now have matching fenders. They're not half fenders, but they're matching. So in a roundabout way, I got my wish. Now I have matching fenders. And these rims will also polish out a lot nicer. You can tell they're real dirty right now, but these will be a lot easier to uh, polish up. They're not as dirty and old as the other truck. All right, let's pull this trailer out, get her cleaned up and bring her on home to where she belongs. Oh yeah, another uh, bonus of this truck, we have a full steering wheel. Check that out. <laughs> In these gauges, they got like little sun visors. Still have to clean it all up and dust it all down, but we'll get to that. In our driver room here, we got a window into the shop. They've already got my truck in the shop. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm gonna fix her up. This truck does run a lot smoother. A lot quieter though, a lot quieter. But we still got the Jake brakes. Open the window a little bit for you. loud not nearly as loud that's okay the truck itself is running great for such an old truck like I'm surprised that this one's running well actually since they've done so much work to the engine on this truck I'm not surprised that it's running a lot better than the newer one we were in before a nice little change, nice little change of immediate scenery. So 
So I brought back the first rental trailer already and I'm actually in the process of bringing back uh, the second one. So I had to get all of our equipment out of the boxes. There was a whole bunch of straps and dunnage in there. And the rental place doesn't want that back. So I got that all off the truck and the guys in the yard helped me get it all organized. I gotta get around this guy though. This guy is driving me nuts. Why are you going so slow, man? I wanna go faster. I got places to be. of that thing must be one of those uh, mobile site offices for construction zones and stuff why is that truck moving so slowly over there you see that weird I think he's blocking the highway man that's a low trailer don't those low boy trailers don't they drag on the ground a lot like over bumps and intersections are they designed for that I've always wondered that because they got to hit the ground all the time. So that means that they've got to design it with that in mind. Anyways, I got no more trailer behind me, Bob tailing back. Uh, they asked me if I'd stay late today and I agreed. I have to make a delivery in Winnipeg just after five o'clock, which means I should be back around the yard, maybe six o'clock out of there by 6.37. Britt went to her mom's house tonight uh, for the night. So uh, I'm not, don't got any reason to rush home other than the dogs, but. I think she only left like around one o'clock, so they'll be fine. They'll be fine. All right, it's my turn. Finder's trucker Josh's turn to pass the house. Come on, bud, we're in the left lane now. Move it. This truck, I've noticed, goes a little bit faster than the other truck. The other truck was governed at 100 kilometers an hour, 60 miles an hour. This truck is governed at 105 or 65. I think 100 kilometers an hour is 62 miles an hour. So I get an extra three miles an hour. City friends, a lot of you know what high beams are because you watch my videos. But most people, most people don't watch my videos that live in cities. If everybody watched my videos, man, I'd be like PewDiePie. Millions of viewers, that would be cool. Well, they don't watch, so they, they drive down the highway here with their high beams on and they have no idea. No idea. You can flash your high beams at them, they have no idea what you're trying to tell them. No, it's a city person thing. They're used to having street lights, so nobody ever tells them how to use their different lights. I get it, I get it. So we're like 20 minutes from our yard, I'm gonna get there, go find the trailer and grab the paperwork, and uh, see if I need to tie it down or not. Get it ready to go, and then we just sit around and wait, because they don't want us there early. There's a special note on the load, do not be early. 
a little late is even okay. So like just after five o'clock, I'd say like 5.05 to 5.15, somewhere in there. No later than 5.15. That's just what I get out of that. Weird, right? Not very often you get hooked onto a load that says, please don't be on time and definitely don't be early. I do get the, I, I do get the don't be early often, but I never get the don't be on time, be a little late, please. <sighs> we got a new friend with us today. Oh, it doesn't have a front door. Huh, that'll make it more difficult to get in there to check on things. Got a couple of boats in here that need to go into Winnipeg. It's gonna be a little bit of a late delivery, like I was saying. We gotta be there for uh, after five. So, here we go, we'll hook her up, make sure that there's no air leaks, make sure the lights all work, and we'll drag it into rush hour. Fun, fun. She's pushing the trailer brakes. Oh, lights. Lights, lights, lights. Lights and hazards. Why the light's not on here? There we go. Okay. Let's roll these up before we forget. Oh, this one comes with its very own ladder. How about that? Fancy. That is fancy. Oh, what am I in? Low gear? Is this as fast as she goes? Okay. The trailers are singing again. You hear that? They're happy. That's nice. Happy trailers. A little windy back here, so I apologize for the wind noise. What's this? Here they are. in here making sure that they're all nicely tied down still. Then we'll hit the road. Yay, rush hour. Well, that was fun. But this video is getting pretty long already, so. My truck is out of the shop already. Are they finished with her? What did they do? Well, if they're finished, I guess then uh, tomorrow morning I'll move all my stuff back in. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. I thought it was gonna take days. That's why I moved everything into that truck. But I guess we're moving back in here tomorrow. All right then. Hmm. Well, I put her in her proper spot over there. I guess tomorrow we'll uh, worry about everything else. A strange day indeed. They obviously didn't go too deep into that engine. They probably just uh, looked up what the engine light was and addressed that problem and called it a day which is fine but uh, the thing about this truck <laughs> I, I do like it I like driving it I think it's a nice looking truck it's in a little bit better shape cosmetically but the air conditioning doesn't work uh, the whole comfort uh, the the whole uh, climate control doesn't work the only thing that works is the fan you can turn the fan on and off but you can't cycle it between the vents. It's only blowing straight at you. So if the window needs a defrost, it, it, it doesn't blow through there. Uh, the air conditioning doesn't work. It doesn't heat very well. So, I mean, if the climate control could get fixed, I mean, that would be all the, everything would be taken care of on there then, right? But that truck, the climate control is very nice. Uh, the 3006, my truck, uh, it's got a strong fan. It, heats up the truck like to a hot box if you want it or it'll turn it into a little ice box if you want it 
Well, probably, yeah. In the first thing in the morning, I'm gonna grab my stuff off of here, grab my chains, my broom, and uh, move back in there. It may not be the prettiest truck, but uh, it is a lot more comfortable to drive, that's for sure. It has a much sharper turning radius, too, than this black one. I don't know, we'll see. Let's let tomorrow worry about tomorrow. Let's go home. It's uh, 7.30. Woohoo! 12 and a half hour shift today.